What up, man? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks, and today we are talking about the Fear of God and Adidas collaboration on a one basketball sneaker. Let's go. So shout out to Jerry Lorenzo on finally getting this off the ground with Adidas and Fear of God. This collaboration has been talked about for about the past three years. Everybody been anticipating this wait and everybody been trying to figure out how this sneaker was really going to come out looking. Now, don't get me wrong. I won't take shine off of all the sneakers that he had dropped. He actually dropped three sneakers on Sunday. Now he have the 86 low, you have the athletic runner, and then you have the one basketball sneaker. All three of these are fire, especially when they have them in different situations. But my main focus is this one basketball sneaker that he released. With the recent snapback that Adidas had on Nike, if this was any part of what they were talking about when they were saying that, hey, they got a lot more coming down the pipeline, I'm here for it because this nigga is fire. I feel like this should have had more hype surrounded on it. Instead of this coming out as a full collection with clothes, duffel bags, and sneakers and everything, I think they should have held it off where they just released clothes and then gave it some time, then released the bag, then gave it some more time, and then released the sneaker. The anticipation for sneaker culture is crazy, so it would have built up hype. It would have gave a lot more information about it, and then it would have gave more time for people to actually buy this sneaker from the hype that they have built. Because as of right now, I could buy these sneakers right now if I wanted to. The price weight of this is 250. This is something that's normal in a sneaker culture right now. So a lot of people will drop up to four, $500 on some sneakers that they really like. And these here are a hit. Whether it's for being on a court or whether it's being in the street, these boys are fire. So I'm pretty shocked as why they didn't hold off and then release it on its own as its own sneaker for a while. They should have gave it a little bit more time for it to draw up all the hype and then released it now to add more detail to this why it's so fire let me break it down and show you what this sneaker really has to show first you had a translucent rubber outer sole of course it's going to grab everybody's attention with this sharp rubber sole that they have i'm not sure if it's meant really for the court but i mean as far as catching eyes this is something that'll do it you'll see a little bit of branding on the back which you'll see fear of god that's in that square rubber sole and then you will also see on the front of the toe, you will see that they have Fear of God and you'll see Adidas on there as well. So you got some small branding on there, but it's not too much. Also, you have a premium knit upper with a neoprene collar. In addition to that, you have an ankle bungee with the toggle. That gives enough support for the ankle, which I think is pretty cool. And then you have a light strike midsole that's more so built for comfort. And of course, you're going to see more branding that's on there with the three stripes with the rib cage that's on there. I think this is absolutely fire. So this sneaker from the outer sole to the midsole and the upper, this is a 100% fire sneaker. Now, I understand that Jerry Lorenzo's main focus was to be in athletics and he wanted to direct it more towards sports. So, of course, this being the basketball sneaker, I'm more so focused on if it's really going to be something that's meant for the court. Now, it does look like it could be both on court and off the court. One, it could be used as a lifestyle shoe because it does look very fashionable. It's eye-catching. It's very creative. And it's something that could be worn in multiple ways when somebody want to be stylish. But when you get on the court... Of course, people want to be stylish when they're being on the court, but is it more so focused on sports or is it more so focused on just showing off the fashion? Now, we've seen before multiple times where people have stepped in some stylish shoes, got on the court, did one, two, get a twing, twing, and them sneakers fall off. They rip right to pieces, and now they have to find some other sneakers to play in. So I'm not sure if the people with Adidas and Jerry Lorenzo actually took the time to figure out if this is going to be something that actually supports people. Is it going to help you out? Is this going to avoid injury? Is this something that that you really can play basketball in and can you be fashionable at the same time? Now, if the answer is yes, and it could physically be played on the court and not rip up, not tear up, or not cause any injury to anybody while they playing, Jerry Lorenzo will have opened another level of getting to the back. This isn't just your regular collab. This is actually a piece that he could continue to grow with, an actual collection that he could continue to grow with, just like they did with the Jordan 1, Jordan 2, Jordan 3. I do believe that if this is something that could be played on and off the court, this could be another way of actually getting to another level of design and style and you will be in another level not only creating clothes you will actually be creating apparel for real and designing pieces that a lot of people will be wearing moving forward here's the tough part though i don't feel that a lot of people will accept jerry lorenzo's shoe as something to be for the sneaker culture now of course yes we've seen multiple times where people are rocking yeezys rocking jerry lorenzo sneakers that he have put out like the duck boots and everything like that yeah that's very creative and it's very stylish and things like that but i don't feel that people are really pushing it to the limit and saying like yo jerry lorenzo really got some pieces these fear of god pieces are really a part of the sneaker community i think they're still more focused on him just being a fashion designer and still saying hey these are just fashionable pieces these aren't athletic sneakers or these aren't just sneakers that's going to be a part of the sneaker culture 
you stay over there in the fashion area and we'll stay over here in our sneaker culture area. I'm not too sure if it's going to be like that for long, but I think that 100% this should be talked about in the sneaker community. I feel like this sneaker alone should have been sold out as soon as it dropped on Sunday. This should have been gone, but I don't know. Hopefully it does get up in the sneaker culture, but I want to hear from you all. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Do you think it's a fire piece? Should it be accepted in the sneaker culture? Should they have held off on releasing this sneaker and waiting a little bit longer to release it on its own time? Or do you feel like they did the right thing and released it with the collection and everything because they waited long enough? I don't know. Drop that comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. With that being said, I'm going to catch up with y'all next time. Y'all already know the vibes. It's your homeboy Cam Quarterbanks. I'll see y'all soon. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holla at y'all. Peace.